There are a lot of useful tools to have for a 3D printing hobby. Some common essentials are allen keys, side cutters, craft knives and scrapers. But in today's video, I'm going to go over what I consider to be some slightly less ubiquitous tools that you may not have considered. To begin with, one of these deburring tools. These are used for metalworking, to remove the burr from a part you've just drilled or cut. The tool consists of a replaceable blade that pivots in a main body. These blades are usually replaceable, but if you're just using it for 3D printing, you probably won't need new ones that often. For 3D printing, these are useful for removing the elephant's foot effect, where a print splays out ever so slightly on the build plate, leaving a very small rim around the print, which can look bad, and if it's a tight fitting part, make assembly difficult. Simply run the tool around your print, and it'll remove a very small line of plastic and clean up the burr. It is possible to overdo it, but I find it precise enough to make it easy to avoid this. It's especially satisfying to do this on small round holes for a bolt or a screw. The second tool I want to talk about is what I call a very soft blow hammer. A soft blow hammer is useful for 3D printing, but for some of the parts I print they are not quite precise enough for my liking. So instead I use a really, really small hammer. This one cost me $2 on eBay, and is actually intended as a car safety device. It's small enough to be really, really precise, while still having good weight behind it. Out of the box it has two metal faces, but I've printed a plastic cover for the pointed face to make it more suitable as a soft blow hammer. I use this hammer to screw up my parts in my small vise, to press together really close fitting parts, and any other tasks that you'll use a hammer for, just on a much smaller scale. And for two dollars you can't really go wrong. The 3D printed soft face and the hammer are both linked in the description. Finally. I have a hand drill. It's exactly what it says on the tin. A small drill that you turn in your hand like a screwdriver. My one is actually just a cheap X-Acto blade handle that I shove drill bits into, but it does the job very well. I use this a surprising amount actually. Anywhere a print needs a hole drilled to size, I'll use this rather than a powered drill. This is because a few times, if I'm not really careful, the drill bit has gripped too much and drilled out the other side of the part that are not meant to have holes all the way through them. A hand drill is probably not going to do this. I used this one so much that I actually broke the X-Acto handle. The end came off and turned into a cookie cutter that would cut circles into my hand if I tried to use it. Rather than throw it away, I instead printed a new rounded end piece that actually made it work better as a tool. You can also buy cheap ones of these off eBay, I've never tested these so I can't really vouch for them, but it's such a simple tool, I can't see it not working. This is just another cheap tool that's really useful to have around. Anyways, that's all I have time for this video. Hammer parts are in the description, and thanks as always for watching.